Now that you've created a region of interest, you can extract data from that region using FSL's Feed Query tool. To launch this from the GUI, type in Feed Query with a capital F underscore GUI. Now if you've already analyzed all the runs within a single subject, you can extract parameter estimates collapse across all of those runs. So in this case, I want to extract data from the left, or sorry, the right motor cortex for the contrast of left minus right and right minus left. All right, so I go here and I select this copie onefeet directory. That represents my contrast of left minus right. And for the other directory, I'm going to load in copie2.feed, which represents the contrast of right minus left. Once you have those, you're asked what stats do you want to extract from that region. In this case, let's just extract the parameter estimate for both of those contrasts. For the region of interest, you can either select one of the atlases, like we did during our creating the ROI tutorial. So for example, the Harvard-Oxford Cortical Structural Atlas. And within that, you can select labels for the different structures that you want to use as an ROI. However, if you've created your own ROI, such as the one we did from our contrast, go ahead and select None, and then select your mask image from the ROI that you created. In this case, our final one was right M1 underscore ROI. Okay. So let's go ahead and click Convert the PE 2% change. And also, we want to allow the binarization of the mask. In other words, we don't want to allow any waiting for this particular mask. It's also going to create a time series plot and a pop-up result in the web browser. This time series plot represents the number of time points within this region of interest. In this case, there were two runs, so it's going to generate two parameter estimates. Right. And lastly, the output directory name, we'll just call that feed query for now. When you hit go, notice that this pop-up browser comes up, and it's generated two separate reports, one for each contrast. So highlighted in yellow is the region of interest that we're extracting data from. Okay, this is the right motor cortex, and this is for the contrast of left minus right. The most important thing to focus on here is these image statistics and especially the mean. So that's the average parameter estimate collapsed across all of the voxels in that region of interest, and its value is 1.429. Now surprisingly, because this was defined based on the contrast of left minus right, it's going to be heavily biased towards that. Now if you look at the other uh, pop-up in the browser. This is for the contrast of right minus left. And remember that the contrast had the opposite weighting, so not surprisingly, the mean and all the other statistics are the inverse of the other contrast. Last thing you should recognize is after you've hit go from the feed query GUI, you get this output of text that you can use as a command line in case you want to script your feed query analyses for more regions of interest or more subjects. All right, so that was all output into this directory right here, feed query. And if you go within there, focus on this report.txt file, which represents all the columns that you saw in this HTML output file. Okay. So in other words, this column represents the number of voxels, this column represents the minimum, and right here, this column right here, so that's column one, two, three, four, five, six, that is the mean. And so when you do this for multiple subjects, that's really what you want to focus on and what you want to extract for, say, input into Excel so that you can compare parameter estimates for a given contrast across lots of subjects. That's feed query, and I believe that in a future tutorial we'll cover how to actually script it from the command line. But this should give you all the tools you need to get started with feed query and region of interest analysis in FSL.